Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Historical Africa. In today's video, we look at the Tutsi tribe of Rwanda. Tutsi, also called Batusi or Watutsi, ethnic group of Nilotic origin, whose members live within Rwanda and Burundi. The Tutsi formed the traditional aristocratic minority in both countries, constituting about 9% and 14% of the population, respectively. Tutsi refers to the people who live in the densely populated African countries of Rwanda, Burundi, and in border areas of neighboring countries. In Uganda, Tutsi are commonly known as Bafumbira, in the Democratic Republic of Congo as Bayamulengi. The Tutsi share many cultural traditions with the Twa and the Utu. The Tutsi first penetrated the area in the 14th or 15th century, entering from the northeast, seeking new rangelands. Thor, they were skilled warriors. They obtained dominance over the resident Utu through a slow and largely peaceful infiltration. The Tutsi established a federal relationship with the Utu, gaining dominance due to their possession of cattle and their more advanced knowledge of warfare. At the head of the Tutsi complex hierarchy political structure was the Umwami, who was considered to be a divine origin. Tutsi expansion continued until the European colonial period of the late 19th century and until then, relations between the Utu and the Tutsi had been fairly amicable. The Utu and the Tutsi cultures gradually integrate over the centuries. The kinship and clan system is probably derived from Tutsi culture and the central importance of Katu certainly is. The Utu and the Tutsi are there essentially to the same religious beliefs which include forms of animism and Christianity. The two ethnic groups remain deeply divided over the apportionment of political power in both Rwanda and Burundi, however. The King of Rwanda and Burundi maintained elaborate dance and drum ensembles that were associated with royal power. On ritual occasions in Burundi, two dozen tall, footed drums were arranged in a semicircle around a central drum. The musicians moved in circle around the drums, each taking a turn beating the drum. This style of drumming has survived the demise of the kingship. Since the 1960s, the royal drummers of Burundi have toured the world giving performances. They have also recorded albums and collaborated with Western musicians. In Rwanda, some young men, children of nobility, were singled out for special training known as Itore. These students received the best education in rhetoric and warfare and served as the king's elite dance troupe. Their dances involved leaping and rhythmic stomping of the feet. Today, they performed for tourists at the National Museum. The Tutsi speak a central Bantu language. This language is called Kiriwanda in Rwanda and Kirundi in Burundi. The two are dialect rather than distinct language. As with Bantu languages in general, Kiriwanda Kirundi is characterized by a system of noun classes identified by prefixes. These prefixes differentiate singular from plural and group nouns into like categories, listing to the Tutsi language. <laughs> igihugu cha gitemba matanu buki igihugu kimisozi igihumbi igihugu cyabeza nibyiza byinshi dukunda abashitsi ndabararitse murakaza neza mu bisanga mu Rwanda rwacu murakoze cyane kinyarwanda ukuntu turivuga mu kinyarwanda uwo mbwira ukuntu barivuga mu kirundi okay no no iryo ntasobanukirwa urambwira meaning yaryo naye ndakubwira meaning yaryo it's okay. So, Abarundi Bose Bari in the house. Shout out to all of you here. Kwa Jura Tanjiro Mgeri, Mbaza. Guki Nguruka. Guki Nguruka, Nyine. Guki Nguruka. Guki Nguruka. Guku, like... Guku, Guku, Ndev, Jaya, 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 Jaya. Oh, yeah. Gushima. Eh, Gushima, no Guki Nguruka. No, no, Afghan, go, Nda Guki Nguruka. Nda Waki Nguruki. Eh, Nda. Most people in modern-day Rwanda and Burundi are Christians, particularly Catholics. 
In the wake of the 1994 genocide, many Tutsi have converted to Islam. In traditional thought, the Creator is somewhat remote. Although his power is manifest in the King, the word for the Creator, Imana, means both God and God's power to ensure prosperity and fatality. The king had special access to this power and he demonstrated this to the people through his sacred fire, the royal drums and the royal agricultural rites. Milk, butter and meat are the most highly valued food traditionally because of the social and religious value of cattle. However, people do not often butcher a cow without some ritual justification. While goat meat and goat milk may be consumed as well, these foods were taboo. The idea for the elite Tutsi was a pure diet of milk products supplemented by beer made from fermented plantains or sugar grain. Meat times are flexible, often revolving around work obligations. Today, the most common foods are beans, corn, cassava, pears, plantains, and sweet potatoes. Tutsi men and women wore gowns and robes imported from the African coast before the arrival of the Europeans. A common form of dress was a wrap around skirt and top piece tied at the shoulder. A woman's ceremonial dress included a plain white robe with perhaps a few geometric designs and a number of white headbands. On most occasions today, however, western style clothing is worn. Women wear dresses, headscarves, and the printed clothes that are popularly throughout East Africa. Men wear pants and shirts. Thank you for joining us on this journey to learn about the Tutsi tribe. Despite the challenges they have faced, they remain a proud and resilient community with a cultural heritage. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, cheers and have a good one.